We'll make it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Monday Morning Motivation Zoom. My name is Austin Zuloff in Lexington, Kentucky. Brings me a great deal of pleasure to bring these Zooms to you for sure. This is some of my favorite uh, time throughout the week is whenever we get a chance to hang out on Monday at noon Eastern. And of course, the folks over in the UK, it's already, you know, in the afternoon, it's already five o'clock for them. But um, usually, uh, it's interesting, by the way, there was uh, someone before we started the recording that said that they were they were with Combined Insurance for like the past five years. And for those of you all that kind of know a little bit about my story, I, uh, I really got my professional start with Combined Insurance Company. And it taught me a lot. Uh, w. Clement Stone's success principles uh, are just invaluable. They're priceless. And so what I usually do on the Monday morning motivation Zooms is... Uh, I go over one of W. Clement Stone's 17 success principles. That's where I get a lot of my content is from this book right here, Believe and Achieve by Samuel Seipert, that um, you know it goes over W. Clement Stone's 17 success principles. And as you see, I've got notes in it and you know I've got stuff underlined and highlighted and everything else. The book's falling apart. So um, you know that's, that's something that uh, has, has stuck with me. This principle today that I want to go over with you all, uh, this principle could actually be considered another name for network marketing. It could be another name for our beloved profession. And people have been doing it since humans have existed. It's the Mastermind Alliance. So check this out. The Mastermind Alliance is defined as the sharing of ideas, information, and contacts in a spirit of perfect harmony to work towards a common purpose. I'm gonna say that again one more time real quickly. It's, it's defined as the sharing of ideas, information, and contacts in a spirit of perfect harmony to work toward a common purpose. Doesn't that sound like what we do, like to a T? So an example that you might've experienced before is like a brainstorming session when you and others just seem to click, right? Uh, ideas built on each other till you finally arrived at the greatest possible idea, the best solution to the problem, or you know some sort of an original new concept. And each mind in the group had added to the process. You know, it's it's a relationship that should be nurtured by each in the group and encouraged uh, to develop. You know, for sure. And whether it comes natural or, you know, it's easy or, or not, it's always worth the effort. When you choose to associate with folks that share common values, goals, and interests, yet who each have a strong individual desire to contribute to the overall effort and you all form a mastermind alliance, you'll find there's just no problem too difficult to solve, no goal too lofty to achieve. I've seen it. When you assemble the right people under the right conditions, the results can be staggering. Nothing short of miraculous, just downright unbelievable. But you know, all you really need to form a mastermind alliance is two compatible minds working in harmony towards a common goal. So what's our common goal? You might be asking yourself, what's What's our mission? Okay, so, well, I, I can only answer what the company's goal and my personal goal is, but I can also assure you that if you make these goals, and I'll share them with you right now real quick, if you make these goals part of your mission, they'll help you achieve whatever it is that you're striving for. I promise you that. So let me share these with you. And then I'd like to share the byproducts of us achieving these and going after these together, which actually may be more interesting or exciting for, for a lot of you. So first I'll go over the company's mission. So the company has a two-part mission. The first mission is to provide world-class wellness products that gently stimulate the body's natural regenerative mechanisms. Original and innovative products made of natural ingredients like our patented blue-green algae strain, Spirulina Maxima, uh, that's priced well, 
for the market that deliver real results, actual results on a cellular level. So that's the first mission. The second mission is to provide a university of knowledge by sharing the experience of some of the best minds to have ever built in the network marketing space, period. It's been my experience that if someone has, if they actually have a goal or a dream that they're going for and you show them how to get it, they'll actually do it. The you know, challenge is a lot of people don't have real goals or a real vision that's pulling them. So, but success is always easier and it's more accessible when you're shown the way by someone who's already done it. And that falls in line with my mission. Okay, so here's my mission. Mine is also a two part mission, but I'm only going to share one of those parts today. My primary mission for this company, my role, here my purpose. My mission is to help create a culture of fun, love, and acceptance, an education, a place for people from any walk of life and any demographic worldwide to come, plug in, be supported, and loved on that will also uplift and educate them on how to live up to their potential and not only achieve their wildest dreams, but find true true peace and fulfillment doing it. Peace, fulfillment. A place that's so wonderful, entertaining, and joyful that they enjoy sharing the message we have and they enjoy introducing people to it every single day. A culture that people feel a sense of pride to be able to say that they're a part of a place we can all grow old together. A brotherhood, a sisterhood, a family, a team, a mastermind alliance. A couple benefits of you buying into this vision, of, of becoming truly committed to this vision is one, your ideal income. Okay, that's going to be something, you see people make five, 10, 15, 50,000 dollars a month and more. Um, I actually was just talking with a young lady in Louisiana that's earning over $400,000 a month in her network marketing company, which is hard to wrap your mind around if you've never earned, you know, that sort of an income, you know, but uh, she's, she'll tell you she's nothing special and money isn't everything guys. Zig Ziglar said money isn't everything, but it ranks right up there with oxygen. You needed to pay the bills. For me, it just gives you options, you know, and it, you know, I enjoy having the option to live in a certain lifestyle, the option to help family and friends if I want to, the option to, whenever I'm traveling again, pick up and fly to China for Chinese food, if that's what I wanted to do. It's nice to have options and you can have that by buying into this vision. Okay, number two is recognition. Okay, whether that be walking across the stage, uh, receiving an award from the CEO, seeing your family in the audience, knowing that mommy, knowing that daddy, knowing that their sister, knowing that you made it happen. Even when some of them were doubting you, even when you had haters, you made it happen. Recognition. They say that babies cry for it, grown men die for it. And so that's another great benefit. Three is a sense of pride. You know, so many people that I talk to that aren't in our profession, they just don't have that sense of pride in what they're doing. They don't wake up just without an alarm clock. To an, they, don't, they, don't, they don't wake up to an opportunity, right? They don't wake up and feel really good about what they're doing. And, you know, whenever you have a vision that pulls you or you concentrate on the visions that we've just talked about, the missions that we've just talked about, these are things that, you know, can permeate throughout your being and just give you that overwhelming sense of pride. And there's a lot to be said for that and, and peace of mind. Number four is a sense of belonging. You know, people join gangs and do just all sorts of stupid stuff for a sense of belonging, right? And we could have it here in a worthwhile environment, um, a sense of family, of unity, a sense of community. So if you plug in and stay plugged in, stay around the campfire, as we say, um, there's a lot to be said for that as well. And then the fifth and final thing that I'll say that is kind of a byproduct of buying into that is a legacy. 
something that supersedes your lifetime. You know, um, I talk to a lot of people that have kind of a fear of death, but it's not really so much a fear of death, but leaving this world without a legacy, being forgotten to the pages of history, right? They say that reputation is what men say about you over your grave, while character is what the angels say about you before the throne of God. And whenever you do leave this earth, as we all will, leaving a legacy, you know, leaving stories behind. Oh, I remember whenever Austin and I were out in Aruba and we were, you know, out uh, eating at, at Moomba on the beach, all 20 of us, you know, the friends were out there. Da, da. The stories people share about you when you're gone, the impact that you've made. I actually made a post about that this morning and I don't remember exactly what it is that I said on the picture, but I'll, I'll know in about four seconds. What we do for ourselves dies with us. What we do for others and the world remains and is immortal. You know, and that's, that's all part of that legacy. So, but it all starts, as I wrap this up, okay, it all starts with the decision that you, that we make today, right now, to get committed, to plug in, to be the example, to do our part to ignite the fire, you know, to become so on fire ourselves that when you touch people, that they either ignite or they melt. So my challenge to you today is to start living mission driven. If our or my mission truly resonates with you, then good, adopt it and let's rock. You know, if it doesn't light you on fire, then take some time today, right now, when we get off this Zoom, if you can, and put some thought into what does. And then let that crystal clear goal, that vision or that mission begin to burn inside you and then start acting on it today, right now. And let's create somewhere together that's truly remarkable. Somewhere we can grow old together. Somewhere you can accomplish every dream you set out to in life. Heck, somewhere that you know, you can help others to do the same and don't let all the days on the calendar fool you Today is your gift. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. It starts today, right now. So thank you all, love you and appreciate you. Looking forward to seeing who helps ignite this fire. Have a day that makes a difference. This concludes our Monday morning motivation Zoom. Thank you all for getting on board.